News 4 Tucson's Paul Cicala joins us live with the latest details. This has been certainly a long road to get this fire out, Paul. Very true, and it's not as bad as you would think up on top, Angelique. Of course, we are standing here at the base of the highway that leads up to the top of Mount Lemmon, Catalina Highway, and it's closed off for everybody except for residents at this time, and of course, first responders. Now, the Pima County Sheriff's Department, they gave us a chance to get up close and personal up on the top of the Santa Catalina Mountains to check out some of the damage from the Bighorn Fire, and as we talked about earlier, it's not as bad as many would think. Patches of green sprout up in an otherwise burned section just a few yards away from the Mount Lemmon Fire Department. But it could have been much worse. Mount Lemmon Fire District Captain Dan Leeds says he's very thankful for the crew of hot shots. And I'll be the first to say I'm incredibly grateful. Uh, if, if not for them, I mean, this is certainly out of the scope of what our fire district could do by ourselves. Uh, without the, the models put in place nationally with these incident management teams and the ordering that they do to get these resources here, Stopping fires like this or even protecting life and property would be nearly impossible. The Bighorn Fire swept through the Catalina Mountains, but much of the area in and around the town of Summerhaven was spared. To be able to have a, a victory like this, even though the landscape is, is burnt, and, and that's certainly noticeable, the overall uh, objectives were met and property was saved. Driving up and down Catalina Highway, you see more green and thriving pine trees than burned or damaged ones. Even wearing these protective masks, you can still smell the burned pine trees all around this region of Inspiration Rock in the Mount Lemon area. In a sense, these burned pine trees smell like a fireplace in which you're smelling literally burned wood. There's still an uncontained fire line that crosses the roadway. Our county Department of Transportation is still working on the uh, on the road barriers um, off the side of the road. Um, as we also saw on the way up, there's a number of downed trees and some uh, burned areas that could be a hazard. But in all, despite the burned areas, this beautiful bird abiding below the trees near the Save Ski Lodge shows there's still lots of life left in the forest. Oh yeah, lots of life, lots of wildlife on top of the mountain as we witnessed firsthand when we were 9,000 feet above sea level at Mount Lemon. And of course, if you want any updates on the Bighorn Fire itself and would like any information on that, we have it all on KVOA.com. We've got you covered from the base of the Santa Catalina Mountains. Paul Cicala, News 4, Tucson. Paul, go back up to 9,000 feet. You'll have less sweat on your brow there. Boy, it's much more refreshing when you get up in that elevation. Uh, envious of your uh, report that you got to file today.